Let's take a look at using constants in Flexi Layout Studio, and also we'll look a little bit at some advanced pre-search relations code that has to do with interacting with a database. So we can, we know, store data in a static text element right here. We can have all sorts of synonymous uh, keywords separated by pipe symbols, and we can search through that list. But there's some real advantages to storing those same synonymous strings in a database. And that could look like this. So here I've got a SQL Server database table filled with strings that have to do with finding purchase order numbers. So I happen to be looking at invoices in this demo, and I'm not for your information, using FlexiCapture for invoices. I'm just um, using a layout that um, is happens to be gathering data from invoices. So I could make a connection to a database without using Flexi layout language, simply by clicking on this radio button, providing a connection string and a SQL query. But I actually happen to have many fields in this uh, in this layout that are all pointing to the same database. And what I want to do by using a constant is I want to facilitate easy migration from one environment to another. So if I'm going from development to maybe UAT, uh, I don't want to go here and open up all these different groups and find this connection string and replace it every time I migrate from environment to environment. So instead of using the graphical user, user interface, if you click on the Advanced tab, I've got some simple Flexi Layout Language code here. And I'm simply creating an ODBC, a SQL query, a select statement. And I'm also invoking a Flexi Layout Language function, search text from database. And then I am referring to a constant connection string. And then I'm also referring to this string that I defined right here with my SQL query. So where can we find this constant for connection string? Let's take a look. If I click on Flexi Layout Properties, there's a Constants tab. And sure enough, here's my constant called connection string. And uh, I can't see the entire thing, so I'll just copy and paste this and put it in Notepad so we can see the entire thing. So once I have my connection string, I can just put the connection string in quotation marks, and I can refer to this constant again and again in all of my different elements, my static text elements that need to access the same database. And I've got several um, for invoice number and um, invoice date. And so if I migrate from one environment to another, I can just change this constant, um, change the connection string so that I can migrate easily from uh, two different environments with only making a change in one place. So how this looks when I actually match the document is for PO number, I am able to find this keyword right here. And that keyword happens to exist in the database right here. So if I didn't take this approach, if I only stored my different keywords in this static text element right here, if I wanted to add a new static text element, I would have to open up my Flexi layout, add, find this element, add a pipe symbol, and then my new string, save this Flexi layout, export my AFL file, go to my project setup station, go to my document definition, and import this AFL file, then save and publish my document definition. But all those 
steps are circumvented by storing synonymous keywords in a database. So if we look at the project here, we can see that we found the keyword Perchno. And because we found that keyword Perchno, we can look in our Flexi Layout Studio. We can look to the right of Perchno and below it we can do right a rectangle array to look in several places, which is what I did, and actually find the purchase order number. If this purchase order number wasn't in my database, I could simply rubber band the string, populate this field, and use this custom action button that would insert that string into my database. So I could empower a verification operator, if I wanted to, to add missing keywords to the database on the fly. And once they did that, they would simply re-recognize the document and then they would be able to take advantage of the proper keywords being in place without calling an administrator, without uh, any delay. Um, you could get some real-time results here. So this isn't machine learning. This is a more straightforward approach, but it can be used in many circumstances. So just to do a quick summary, I'll go back to Flexi Layout Studio. When I am building a layout, I have the advantage using the GUI to make a connection to a database and specify query text that will allow me to find data stored in a database. And that can be all you need. But if you want to quickly change your database, if you are going to change from one environment to another, then I recommend that you go ahead and use Flexi Layout Language Code, define a constant, and then you can just change that constant when needed to quickly migrate from one environment to another. And that constant is being referred to by many fields in this particular form. So that can really be a time saver.